In this video, I want to take a look at the ultimate software that comes with the 8-bit Doe arcade stick for programming the macro buttons and mapping buttons. Let's get into it. What's up guys, it's Sal, the voice of the We Deem channel. We review, we test, we game, a community I'd like to think is for gamers. If you'd like to see me spend my money so you don't waste yours, hit that subscribe button. All right, let's get into the 8-Bit Ultimate software. And obviously the first thing you need to do is download the software. Duh. You wanna head over to 8BitDoe.com and then you're gonna go up to support. You're gonna go down to Ultimate Software. It'll bring you to this page and you're gonna either get it for Mac OS or Windows. I'm pretty sure the 8-bit though arcade stick doesn't work for Mac I could be wrong you're gonna go ahead and click it download it once you download it you're gonna want to unzip that file and once you unzip that file, you'll get this folder, 8BitDo Ultimate Software for Windows. You want to go in there and you're going to click on the 8BitDo Ultimate Software. But before you do that, I suggest you connect the USB cable first. Because a couple of times I've seen they have an issue where it wouldn't load it. Open the 8BitDo Ultimate Software here and it should automatically recognize and there you go it recognized it right away and I assume if there's different controllers it'll recognize that uh, you can map your buttons and you can do the macro as you can see if you map your buttons let's just say you like a different combination of buttons or a different button layout on the arcade stick you can go ahead and change A to actually be B you can go ahead and click that and let's say you want B to be A and then you hit sync to controller and that's how it will save and it tells you to close out the software but let's go into macro and as you can see I already have macro buttons set to it so unfortunately it's not gonna allow me to hit the sync button but let's go through it anyway you're gonna hit the plus button and we're gonna pick P1 and we're gonna do Ken's fireball from Street Fighter you're gonna hit down add side add and then straight and add or forward I should say and then Y and that is Ken's fireball combination you're gonna want to hit enter and then you could hit sync to controller now let's go ahead and head into game to test it, but don't forget to take out the USB cord because the arcade stick will not work with this plugged into the computer. Then we're going to go ahead up to whatever you're going to play on, RetroArch or even Steam if you have a fighting game on Steam. Now obviously you're going to want to set up your 8-bit dough arcade stick in RetroArch if you're using RetroArch and you go down to input and that's how you do it. If you need any help with that, let me know in the comments down below. I'd be more than happy to help you set the arcade stick up in there. It's fairly simple. Let's get Street Fighter loaded. Oh yeah, I changed the buttons. As you can see, I changed the buttons A is B and B is A, but what I did notice is that even though you remap the buttons, it does not change the layout lights on the arcade stick itself. As you can see, it does it, but it doesn't do it all the time. I don't understand what the deal is with that, but it only seems to do it occasionally. Now it did a Hadouken. Now it did the Fireball. So it's kind of finicky. It doesn't work all the time. It works really well for finishers in Mortal Kombat. I don't know about you guys, but I always seem to mess up as soon as Finish Him gets on the screen. This way you program it to one button and it will perform the finisher instead of you just punching somebody and it dropping like a sack of potatoes. If you guys have any questions on the Ultimate Software for the 8-Bit Doe Arcade Stick, please leave those in the comments down below. If you found the information in this video to be valuable, please consider hitting the thumbs up and sharing amongst friends and the rest of your social media. And as always, don't forget to let me spend my money so you don't waste yours by hitting that subscribe button. Hey guys, don't forget that the products discussed in any of my videos are always in the description down below if you're interested in checking any of them out or helping me make the videos just a little bit better every time. Also, don't forget to check out one of our other videos. What are you waiting for? One, two, they're there. Click one of them. Please.